So the national sports strategy, uh, what we've done is uh, we've uh, found out that infrastructure is important, but at the same time, uh, uh, people skills, people development, and high performance is, is the most important thing. I think we are going to invest more on people skills uh, and developing those skills, whether it will be athletes or coaches, uh, that's something that we are going to focus more on. And um, the, what we've done is we've created uh, four pillars that we are looking at improving sports in Sri Lanka. So there will be people who will come and explain those four pillars and you will be given this presentation as well so that you can go through that um, uh, and, and all the planning. So the pillars that we've spoke from day one was, one was leisure sports, obviously leisure sports, we are looking at bringing a healthy lifestyle to all citizens in Sri Lanka. So there's a different plan, execution already been done with <coughs> bringing mobile uh, fitness units to different parts of the country, bringing, trying to bring young uh, kids outdoors um, so that they can get involved in sports. Um, and encouraging them to take up sports at school level. So that is something that um, uh, everyone is focused on and something that uh, we are all uh, looking at. And obviously then the competitive sports, uh, we've uh, identified um, all the sports that Sri Lanka has got. We've discussed with individual sports associations, their plans, their forward thinking, and how do we improve that. So there's a tier system which uh, later on will be explained. Um, and uh, what we're looking at is that we need to encourage more sporting events to happen in Sri Lanka. That goes hand in hand with sports tourism. There'll be um, after the, obviously we'll have to stick to the health guidelines right at, uh, at this moment, but going forward, we will look at hosting a lot of international events in Sri Lanka so that encourage our next generation to take up sports. Um, obviously, sports economy is, is next, and then esports. So these are segments that we are going to focus going forward. Um, like the Honorable Minister mentioned, uh, during this new budget, we made a few changes. Um, up to now, Sri Lanka's sports budget, we were spending only 6% for athletes and high performance. So when you compare that with other countries, um, say if you take Australia, India, our neighbors, and some of the other elite sporting nations, they spend close to about 45 to 55% of the annual sports budget on people development, people skills, athletes, and high performance. So what we've done is, because we couldn't make those radical changes straight away, the Honourable Minister and his uh, Secretary and, and, and the Sports Ministry, we managed to allocate 20% of this year's budget for that. And then hopefully going forward, we will keep increasing that budget so that we are actually looking at sports, sportsmen, coaches, and that development process. One thing I have to mention is that um, the tri forces in, in Sri Lanka and the police. I think the contribution that they have done over the last years uh, with high performance athletes, I think uh, 75 80 percent of our high performance athletes are being natured and looked after by the tri forces. I think without their support, uh, none of these athletes would have been at this level and competing at Asian Games, Commonwealth Games, and, and hopefully in the future in the Olympics. I think there's a lot of commitment from them, and there's a dedicated group of people who's behind that program and who supported all these athletes over the years. So I think that has to be mentioned. And without those programs that we can take over and continue spending more money on these high performance athletes, um, Sri Lankan athletics and other sports, especially uh, karate, judo, weightlifting, none of them will be at this level without the support of the forces over the last five or six years. I think that is very important to mention. For premium content and exclusive member benefits, subscribe to thepapare.com today.